And this school called Cambodian Christian Arts Ministry was started by a woman named Norin, who was one of the ones in the labor camp during the genocide. She had been a teacher in the university, and as was her husband. But she lost her husband. Her children died in her arms in the labor camp. She didn't know Jesus, and she thought that her life was really finished. And suddenly she found herself outside the fence of the labor camp, not even knowing how she got there. And she began wandering in the night through the jungle, and she thought to herself, I just want to die. Why should I live when they are gone? But suddenly she felt something inside of her stirring her as a prayer to a God she didn't even know. And Noren said, if you want me to live, if you still have any purpose for me, then show me a way through this jungle. And this urban woman suddenly saw a little light moving in the trees and began to follow it for the next 40 kilometers, came to a refugee camp across the border in Thailand, and within a couple of days, a missionary had come to her and told her that the one true God had sent his son Jesus to be the light of the world. Amazing. She knew right away he was the light that she had followed, that he had provided that light, that they had a purpose for her. And I got to know her in the United States. We were both doing refugee resettlement work, and she'd become a citizen of the U.S. And a dear Christian woman in Boston gave Noren an inheritance. Noren could have stayed in the U.S., could have had a comfortable life there, but instead she felt a stirring from the Lord to return to Cambodia in 1995 and she has been uh, raising up these children in this creative arts program, Cambodian Christian Arts Ministry, along with another woman, Joya. And now they are turning it over to a Cambodian couple that were raised up in this, uh, Sapun and Rex May, and the, about 30 students are giving themselves totally to the Lord to bring the arts back to the nation, to the church, to glorify Him. But they are in desperate need because her whole inheritance was used to support this school uh, for these years. And last year, all the funds ran out. And so if any of you have it in your heart, if God has stirred up creative arts ministry and you want to do what you can for this in Cambodia, then we welcome you to get behind it. Um, we just are excited to be part of mentoring and teaching some of the young people in that program and as well as helping other members of the international church community there who are involved in rescue of boys and girls that are trafficked on the streets in Cambodia and getting them into homes, getting them established in businesses that are wholesome, and in reaching university students. We now have uh, some outreach through CAFE uh, where they can come and learn about Jesus and talk informally with believers and hostel where they, 200 of them can come and live and participate in a Bible study and an Alpha course. And we're just excited at the many different ministries going on. And we invite you to consider helping in any of these and we thank you for it.